Motorcycle chase comes to an end when a concerned citizen takes matters into his own hands. New tonight, News Channel 4's Adam Snyder back from Chickasha with what appears to be a game of chicken. Battle. A game of chicken, Kevin, where a Kansan named Floyd came out on top, jumping into an intersection, stopping a motorcycle that was going upwards of 60 miles per hour. Our story begins near 8th and Iowa and ends. That white one right there. Across the street from Floyd Briggs. Just coming down through here going, wah, 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 and I thought, uh oh. He's describing a motorcycle that police had pursued through city streets and alleys till the driver, Michael Coppage, came to a Floyd in the road. I said, well, I got to stop this guy before he hurts a little kid. And I run out here and kind of getting ready for him. Yeah, I ain't no football player either. And in a matter of seconds, Coppage was on his back. And he laid that bike over about here and slid all the way that pickup. Run around that fence right there, and I just went after him. I was running out of steam pretty quick. So I'm not very aerodynamic. But Floyd managed to chase him right into the waiting arms of Chickasha police. Coppage was arrested and later admitted the only reason he had ran was his lack of a license and insurance. That's not a serious thing right there. You get a ticket and slap on the hand, pay your fine, and then go fix your problem. And for neighbors that caught this camoed cavalier in action, he's got a message. So I did use some language that just isn't how I talk, and I'd like to apologize to them folks because uh, that was kind of uncalled for. The words, some of the words I use, I'm pretty worked up, and so I'm sorry for that. Now, Coppage was actually released today. He's facing charges of eluding a police officer and leaving the scene of an accident involving damage. Linda, back to you. All right, thank you.